Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can get the latest selected date from date slicer. So in a date slicer you have the start date and end date and based on the you know end date that you are moving how you will going to get that last date that uh, that is basically you have selected in the range. Okay, uh, if you are looking for a solution for this video, obviously uh, a solution, then this is a video for you. Uh, but before I show you the exact solution, just a quick information about this sheet where I am keeping all of my Power BI related videos. So the link for this sheet is present in this video's description where you can come in and search any of my videos like a normal search, control F. Uh, and then you will find the video that you are looking for. Also, you can filter it and just look at it, do a search over there. On top of that, uh, after searching in column B, you have the video link. That way you can jump to the video very easily um, without any much of a hassle. So that way, you know, searching within a YouTube video, within a YouTube becomes really cumbersome that uh, how you will find the relevant video. But this is just to help you so that uh, you can easily search and get the video you need. Also, you can bookmark this so that it is handy for you whenever you need uh, any solution related to the Power BI. Also, the exercise is present over here, which you can take it based on what I have taken it back in the day. So I will keep updating this sheet. sheet. So make sure you have this as your bookmark and uh, need it whenever you, uh, you are in a problem. So with that, uh, let's move on to the Power BI. All right, here I am in the Power BI and uh, I created this order calendar table, uh, which is associated with the Superstore in the previous video. Um, so what I will going to do is I will going to create a slicer and I within that I will going to take the dates, right? Uh, I'll take the dates and this is my last date. So whole idea is this. That if I'm changing any range, right, the value is changing over here. However, I want to pick this last date, right, which is 12th of September. Maybe based on this date, a use case is this that you want to view uh, based on the latest date, which is 12-7. Uh, uh, that means 7th December, right? It is, oh, sorry, it is in M DDMMYY. So it is 12th, Sept uh, 12th July. So based on this 12th July, what is the last date? You want to see what is the sales five days prior to that or last five days total sales or maybe next five days total sales. Any of that scenario, right? For that, you need to have this date. So to do that, what you can do is you can create uh, one quick measure, which is you need to click on the new measure over here and uh, latest selected date is something you can do and you can use the function which is last date and within that you need to provide this uh, order date and order date is coming from where it is coming from this order calendar if you see so you have the order calendar and you have the date and do this and click ok right so now this is present right latest selected it whole thing is it has come in a wrong table it's for the side different video but still it will going to work um, I will going to take one card to show you what date is coming and then it will help you understand the functionality so latest selected date and I will pick up here so 12 uh, July 2019 let me change this now it is 17th April 2020 or if I go back, it is 30th of June. Now, based on this column that we have created or based on this measure that we have created, you can use it in other measures as, as a wrapping or as a nested measure and get the output that you are looking for. So that's something I wanted to show you how you can do that uh, within Power BI. Okay, with that, thank you so much for watching.